Welcome back to SourceFed Nerd. Hey, I'm not dead. To celebrate, here's a duck. Good, I've been trying to show people around the office that vine, and they just wouldn't give me the time of day. Can you look at this thing? No. Can you look at this thing? It's a button. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Apparently, I'm not supposed to walk around all week trying to show people vines instead of actually doing my work. Mm. Anyway, time for work. I'm gonna kick things off today with a gentle reminder to look out for sex crazed laser wielding pig people. It's a phrase that I've shockingly been preparing to say for years. It's just had to wait for the right moment, which is now. Two teens in Sweden were doing some casual Pokemon hunting, enjoying each other's company, when all of a sudden, bam, pig laser to the eye. JK, it's just a regular laser. Pig laser. Apparently two individuals wearing pig masks and matching king and queen t-shirts popped out of nowhere and shot the teens in the face and eyes with laser pointers and scurried away into the night. Not for long though, reports started flying in. The driver spotted the couple porking just next to a major roadway, which caused numerous traffic jams. Cause who doesn't want to watch two people fornicating in public for free? Ugh. As of writing this, our two piggly wigglies are on the lam. This is a keep your eyes peeled, people. Or don't, because the laser to the eye can cause permanent damage. How are you supposed to look for a perp that has the power to incapacitate your peepers? Our founding fathers couldn't have imagined such a hellish future. Most of you are probably wondering, and the answer is yes. This could be one of my possible Halloween costumes this year. It's either this or the Flash. And also, fun fact, the site that broke this story had the title of the century, Sex Pigs Halt Traffic After Laser Attack on Pokemon Teens. Merry Christmas, everybody. Speaking of Pokemon, it looks like the Detective Pikachu movie that was being developed by Legendary has just upped its game. Nicole Perlman and Alex Hurst are in negotiations to pen the script for the film, which would be awesome, and I'm about to tell you why. Prepare to hold your butts. Are they held? Good. Nicole Perlman is the beautiful mind behind scripts such as Guardians of the Galaxy and the first Thor movie, and she's working on the Captain Marvel script, so yeah, she's got a pretty solid understanding of nerd culture. And what about Alex Hirsch? Oh, just Gravity Falls and the marvelous misadventures of Flapjack under his belt, aka two of the greatest animated shows ever. If you ever want to watch a show that's both deeply disturbing and entertaining, check out Flapjack, cut to a clip. She's here. Ugh. From my point of view, at least, this sounds like a pretty solid team to bring Pokemon to life on the big screen. It's even more comforting since this is a Detective Pikachu movie rather than a general Pokemon movie. They have a pretty clean-cut vision, in my opinion, possibly going with a classic whodunit storyline. That's me, though. What do you guys think? Are you excited for a Detective Pikachu movie? What would you want to see in it? Let me know down below. Moving on to a wee bit of superhero news, Hulu has just confirmed that they will be dipping into the Marvel honeypot with the announcement of a Runaways TV series. Cool. Basically, a bunch of kids find out that their parents are tied to the criminal underground and they band together and run away on the nose there. The six teens steal trinkets from their parents to help defeat their parents, like this dinosaur. Damn, I'd be pissed if I found out that my parents were hiding a dinosaur from me. ABC and Marvel TV will be collaborating with Hulu to bring this to life, and the series will be helmed by Josh Schwartz and Stephanie Savage, the head honchos behind Gossip Girl. Now that's a little disappointing, in my opinion. What do we always say though? Stay optimistic. But on top of that, it was also written by one of my favorite authors, Brian K. Vaughn, who created Why the Last Man, one of my favorite comics of all time. So don't fuck this up, okay? I don't mean to be that fanboy, but I'm gonna be. All right, moving on. More superhero news. Here's the first poster for Spider-Man Homecoming. Wow, it's just him in the suit. If you're kind of let down by this reveal, don't be, because they've only been shooting this movie for what, like two months? And it's not coming out until next year? That suit does look fly though. Spider-Man, fly, animals people. That's all I got. All I want for this movie is for them to not follow the footsteps of Spider-Man 3 and Amazing Spider-Man 2. Don't advertise three villains. I know it's already kind of looking like they will with Vulture being teased and Shocker and Tinker and whoever. But calm down, Marvel, keep it simple. And last bit of news, there's been a research Surgeons of popularity for the classic Batman TV series starring Adam West and Burt Ward. They've had their own comic series, they've appeared in the Lego Batman games, they're unstoppable. Now DC is cashing in and will be releasing a new animated film starring West and Ward titled Batman The Return of the Cape Crusader. It's so cool. A mini trailer was released showing off the Dark Knight and Boy Wonder in their classic costumes as well as some fourth wall breaking teases for what should be expected in the movie. Also, you get Batman and Robin trapped on a giant frozen dinner tray slowly being pushed into a giant oven. Everything you'd want in a Batman movie. He isn't going around shooting random dudes. He isn't obsessed with the name Martha. Martha. What? How do you know that name? How do you know? It's all me! Bobby! Little jabs. But that's it for me, old Sam here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Also, fun fact, SourceFit Nerd's about to hit 1 million subscribers, yay! We have a very special video coming out soon for you kids, but also a special gift on top of that. We're doing a special live stream on this channel next Wednesday, the 24th, to celebrate this milestone. So keep your eyes peeled on the channel and on our social media accounts for more info. It's gonna be fun. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. We'll see you kids tomorrow. Bye-bye. Next, we've got some actors rumored to be cast for the Deadpool sequel.